Hello, I'm the Engine Inspector, and this is one seriously messed up railway. Talking trains, non-existent drivers, unhygienic transportation of food, and gender-confused engines! Yeah, I'm talking about you, Rusty. It's a wonder there haven't been any casualties on this railway. It always seems like, luckily, no one is hurt. But I'm not here to talk about that. Yet. I'm here to talk about the god-awful disgrace to Audrey's memory that is Wonky Whistle. But first, the quickest history of the television series you've ever seen. It all started back in 1984. Based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey, the first series aired in September and was a smash hit in the UK. The stories were great and the characters were lovable, and Audrey was all like, Audrey approves. With the success of the first series, plans for a second were quickly made. Season 2 aired in 1986, and like Season 1, used entirely Audrey-written stories, including some written by Chris for Audrey, the Reverend's son. Once again, Audrey was like, Audrey approves. Now we've come to Season 3. This season had mostly Audrey-written stories, and some original stories by Britt Allcroft and Dave Mitten as well. Most of the adaptations were fairly loyal, except for the trouble with mud. I still don't know what was up with that one. Mind my eyes! And for the most part, Audrey was like, Audrey approves. But then we came to this episode. Henry the Green Engine has lived on the island of Sodor for many years. He wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And Audrey was all like, Rule 55. You can't do it. Sorry, I had to. Now comes season four, and by this time, Thomas was a huge hit in America, too, thanks to Shining Time Station, the brainchild of Britt Allcroft. Season four featured almost all Audrey-written stories, and was the first series to feature the Scarlowy Railway. The adaptations were faithful until... In springtime, Rusty loves to visit a faraway place. And Audrey was all like... No. Moving on to season five. This season featured tons of explosions and accidents, but no Audrey written stories at all. And by this time, Audrey was all like... Next came season six and seven. These were pretty good and contained lots of enjoyable stories. Then Hit Entertainment took over. From here, Soot hit the fan. The story sucked, the narration was subpar, the music was weak, the characters were forgettable, and it would only get worse until Season 12. Season 12 introduced CGI animation while still adhering to the traditional model style of filming. It brought back some old characters, too. While the stories weren't great, they were tolerable, and that was enough for most fans. And that brings us to where we are now. The CGI series. An era of redundant rhyming and abnormally awful alliteration. <laughs> So let's take a look at this crime against Audrey's memory, that is, Wonky Whistle. Wonky Whistle. It was a beautiful blue day. We start off with stock footage from another whistle. horrible episode. I'm sure that's a good sign. Holy that train needs a break, man. Busy, hooting and and tooting, that one. Pushing and pulling to make sure everything was and ready that one. on time. Okay, if I point out every missing brake van, we're gonna be here all day. Thomas was at the steamworks. His whistle had broken. He had to have a new one. Please hurry, Victor. I want to be puffing perfectly for the country show. Puffing perfectly. Then, the fat controller arrived. Thomas? When your new whistle is fixed, I have a special for you. <sighs> a special, huh? A big surprise. You are to chuff to Farmer McCall's farm. He has a trailer of animals waiting to go to the country show. Thomas Beam from buffer to buffer. Puff proudly, chuff carefully, and whistle well. Do you hear how absolutely annoying that awful alliteration is? If I had to read those lines, I'd jump in a lake. And I'm not kidding, make no mistake. I want you to let everyone know about the country show. Yes, sir. Thomas's pistons pumped with pride. 
Hurry, Kevin. I have a very special special. I have to tell lots of people about the country yes. show. Yes, the workmen who are Doing trying to fix you. I'm sure that'll work out well things. in the end. No whistles. You know, that's like asking a neurosurgeon to speed up brain surgery. I have to go to the fair. Can we speed this along? Really? Workman, feed the whistle. The whistle is clearly wonky. But Thomas was too excited to wait. I'm sure my whistle isn't wonky. I must race to Farmer McCall's. Thomas! Jeez! Did Thomas just pull away while there were two workmen on top of him? That's not smart. That's not safe. This railway is so totally sued. And Thomas chuffed cheerfully away to Farmer McCall's farm to collect the animals. There were ducks for a duck race, Katie the sheepdog, and Farmer McCall's prize cow. What in the world is a duck race? Thomas huffed happily. I must hurry. I must go. Quickly to the country show. Thomas steamed Thomas. swiftly Thomas. away before the farm workers had closed the trailer properly. But Thomas didn't know that. It... There were a lot of people on the bridge. Thomas was pleased. Hurry to the country oh, show. Crud. Thomas Tell started your friends rhyming. And don't be slow. Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Ah, Dowager Hat, what kind of whistle makes that noise? Do these people even know how a steam whistle works? When a steam whistle breaks, it sounds like this. It doesn't magically turn into a slide whistle. The wonky whistle scared Katie the sheepdog. <laughs> that scared me too. I wish I could run away from this episode. I'm jealous of that stupid sheepdog. To tell Thomas, Thomas thought they were waving to say hello. On the way, Thomas saw Bertie the bus at the level crossing. Ooh, Bertie! Maybe he'll bump some sense into his buffers. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show! Tell your friends and don't be slow! Aha! Thomas stopped! Rule 55. Sorry, again, I had to. Thomas's wonky whistle scared the ducks with a flap and a flutter. Well, Thomas has never seen those trailer. ducks again. Bertie tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas! Just like another duck. As you wish, sir. There were a lot of people on the platform at Maithwaite Station. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Gah, this rhyming makes me want to pull my teeth out one by one. It'd be pretty painful. No way would it be fun. She hurried out of the open trailer. Thomas! The station master tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas thought the station master was calling to say hello. Thomas is just a raving idiot nowadays, isn't he? Show? Now I must whoosh and wish. Everyone will be waiting to see the animals. Thomas puffed proudly up to the showground. Fizzling fireboxes. Where is everyone? And where are my animals? The trailer is empty. Thomas was surprised. Then his wheels wobbled with worry. The fat controller wanted me to tell everyone about the country show. He wanted everyone to come. But no one has come. And I have lost all the animals. No steam, Sherlock! Thomas wished his wonky whistle loud and long. Thomas! Thomas saw Farmer McCall shout and wave. Thomas! Thomas! What kind of moron would leave a farm gate open like that? Oh. Now I must tell everyone about the country show. Thomas puffed and chuffed round the island. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. 
Everyone was happy to hear about the show. And happy to hear Thomas's wonderful whistle. Stop rhyming right now! I mean it! No more! Everything you say makes me want to snore! The Fat Controller was pleased. You have been a really useful engine. Now I have one more job for you. Yes, sir. I would like you to blow your new whistle to open the country show. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Right away, sir. Thomas blew his wonderful whistle loud and long. The country show was opened and everyone cheered. Even Katie wagged her tail. Stupid. Stupid. This is so stupid. This whole episode is stupid. No wonder the guy who wrote it hasn't had any other stories published. I don't know if I could stomach it. I rest my case. This episode is awful, unjust, a disgrace. Audrey probably rolled in his grave when he saw this. Now all we have is Sharon Miller and her crew dancing the shoddish. Oh no. Oh no. How can this be? The terrible rhyming has gotten to me. I'm alright. I think I can make it. Anyway, I honestly feel bad for the kids who have to grow up with this. If I were a parent, I wouldn't let my kids watch this. And neither should you. I'm the engine inspector, and until next time, I bid you adieu. No!